Now, we have new details tonight about the impact of budget cuts at Springfield Public Schools. District leaders tell us they're cutting 142 jobs from all levels in the district. 59 of those positions are where the employee is already resigning or retiring and they're not filling those roles. And this is all in an effort to save $10.5 million. Color 10's Parker Paget is live in Springfield after speaking to district leaders and a woman who represents a litany of staff inside and outside classrooms. Yeah, a majority of those positions were created using COVID funds back in 2021. And as you mentioned, more of those cuts are for positions where the employee had decided to retire or resign. They're simply just not filling that role. Now, I spoke to a local teachers union president who says SPS is going about these cuts in the wrong way. I think they've absolutely mishandled where they're taking the cuts from. Laura Mullins, the SNEA president, says she officially learned of the cuts last week. On the 15th at 7.30 in the morning, I started receiving my first phone calls of crying um, employees who were being notified that their jobs were being lost. Springfield Schools announcing they have to cut $30 million from their budget over the next two years, starting with nearly 150 jobs this year. Those are the hardest type of decisions to make whenever you are preparing an annual budget. Stephen Hall with the district released a list of the positions impacted and says a majority of the cuts are made up of COVID temporary jobs and employees retiring with their jobs not being filled. Others are having their jobs modified with reduced hours. And that began last year with uh, the end of the ESSA relief funds and will continue not only this year but next year as well. Mullen says she believes those impacted the most are the students and the staff. Librarians, art teachers, music teachers, PE teachers, computer teachers. It's very troublesome and it's going to have a huge impact um, on our kids. I hope you directly ask them if any administrators, high, high level, high paid administrators were cut. Because I think the answer is no. So the answer is yes. Uh, the cuts that are on um, the table for this round are all levels. So this includes administration. Hall says their cuts shouldn't impact the students' education. We're confident that we have team members that will work together, come alongside our school children, and do what is in their best interest. Yeah, another note on this, Hall says that they are currently hiring for different positions and says that those people that have been part of the cuts could apply for those and possibly uh, retain employment within the district just in a different role. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.